we are getting ready to do the $5 game challenge. The $5 game challenge means that you have a $5 budget, you go into the game store, you and a friend try to pick the best game that you can get for $5, and then we're gonna have people vote on who picked the best game. And here we are, G2K Games on this, this beautiful afternoon that we got here. It's a Sunday, isn't it fantastic? Are you pumped? This way is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. All right, which way is it gonna go? Oh yeah. I don't know, it's a possibility. Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000 for Dreamcast. It's actually a pretty fun game, so I'll keep that one in mind. Possibly, it's a possibility. Attitude for the Dreamcast, depending on who you talk to. That's a good game. Wave Race. Let's move on from this. While I played the first Matrix games, I have not played the Path of Neo. This could be the one. What do you have there? Um, Sneak, King. Sneak King. It just looked really cool and I had no idea that this was Burger King. Show us the back. That you just play as the Burger King. I don't know. I don't know. It's hilarious. I don't know. There may be a bunch of people out there that love this game. They're going to vote for you and you're going to beat me with Sneak King. Could be a winner. <laughs> hmm. What do we got here? Maybe. Maybe. Fable for the original Xbox. Killer, killer game. And I think this might be a winner. I was thinking about getting this. It's four ninety nine because I used to play Unreal with my dad. But I just think this is so much funnier. There was this, but I have no idea what this means. Like what kind of game could this possibly be? And I don't have any pictures to go by. So it's possibly just because it's so weird. I'm gonna pick something super weird. <coughs> I have it down to three in my head just from this section. So there's this BioFreaks game. I'm, I've never heard of it, clearly. So I looked up just on Google Images. I didn't look anything else up. And it's like an old school fighter game. And I really like those. But this still has my heart, I think, because it's really, really funny. So I'm, I'm having a battle. I think I have the winner. The Pamela Anderson, the Wall on Way Wall. Cash them out. Oh yeah. Mission accomplished. We got some games, and now you guys get to choose who uh, picked up the better score of the day. Five dollar budget, and we actually walked out with three games. All right, everybody. So uh, we just made it home. 
we've got our games. Uh, do you want to go ahead and, and show everybody what it is that you got for $5? All right. So I got Bioshock 2 for $4.99. And then with the car, it was like $4.86. Right. Okay. It's a pretty good game. Lots of people like it. I'm excited. I've um, never played it before. So the game that I got that was also $4.99 is like $4.86 um, with our big blue card at G2K Games. Toxic Grind. I have never heard of this game before in my life. I'm really excited about it. The little flavor text here on the back says, a twisted game show in the forum for public execution. Oh, the forum for public execution of Outlaw BMX Riders. Welcome to the show where ratings soar when riders die. That sounds crazy. So I'm excited. Uh, we're going to play these games and check we'll them see. out. We'll see and uh, cool we'll there. post some gameplay footage as well. So now that you've played your game, what did you think? I really enjoyed Bioshock 2. Um, I didn't play the first one. I've never played this one before. I did not know what to expect. I didn't really read the back of it. I didn't look up any like commercials for it from when it came out or any gameplay, anything like that. So I didn't know what to expect. So it was a lot of gore, a lot of blood. I was not Plasma. expecting that, whatever. Um, so like drilling my arm into people's faces was a bit much but i really thought it was fun and it scared her it scared me a lot a couple of times we actually had recorded yeah we were having some issues with elgato uh we were trying to have the capture of us playing the game as well uh which didn't work unfortunately because she freaked she freaked a couple of times <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, anything like jumpy or oh, uh, she's a jump scare girl. I can't help it. So I really enjoyed this game for less than five dollars. I'm actually really happy with this, and I think it's going to be something that I enjoy playing. Bioshock Two, Xbox 360, also compatible with the Xbox One, so that's pretty cool too. And now on to my pick which I'm sure everyone will be voting for in the comments section after seeing a little bit of the gameplay. <laughs> um, Toxic Grind. I was actually expecting, and I guess I didn't really get into the story mode, if there is really a story mode. I just was practicing, did arcade mode to get a feel for the gameplay. Uh, and it plays a lot like Dave Mira freestyle uh, BMX, uh, which I played on the... PlayStation 1, uh, which was kind of like the BMX version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's a lot what this plays like. I mean, the the bunny hop control is the same as the Ollie control for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. To grind is the same button. Uh, the controls are almost mapped exactly like um, the Activision uh, Extreme Sports games. Um, I'm interested to see what the gameplay is going to be like, uh, or the storyline aspect of this game is going to be like once I get into it. It seems to be really, really violent and ridiculous and mixed in with extreme sports and a crazy storyline. So um, I'm going to have fun with this for sure. I'm not sure who's going to win. Abby. I'm not going to sit here and bow down and say that this is going to be a blowout. I'm pretty but, uh, confident. But I think you did pretty good. I did. I did too. This was a lot of fun. We'll you keep guys can doing vote it. and tell us what you think. Vote. Vote, vote. Bioshock. Toxic Mickey. grind. Toxic grind. Mm -hmm. Also, we need to know what Godzilla's pick. <laughs> Godzilla, what did you pick while you were at G2K? I think she wanted <laughs> Sneak King. We went ahead and got the Burger King game for baby Godzilla. Um. Really yeah. And, and then we played Sneak King. Sneak King, which was actually a dollar. 99 cents. And this was Godzilla's pick. No. This was my original pick before I found Bioshock 2, and then 
I've been wanting to play Bioshock 2, so I got that. This was really funny. If you find it for 99 cents, I would definitely get it. It's a fun game to play. Um, I'm sure that there's not going to be, you know, an ungodly amount of no. hours to play the game, but for something to sit down and play for 10 or 15 Mindless. minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's mindless entertainment. It's really funny. And, um, you know, I don't know how common this game is going to be here in the near future, considering that it came from Burger King. So it might be something cool king. to have in your collection, at least. It's not even there thing anymore. Yeah, the king. The king is dead, so. So, hit up the comment section. Let us know who you think made the best purchase for $5 or below.